Okay, everyone, so last video we hit up an overview of this. So now we're going to go and start getting things going. So I'm going to click Connect an Untuned Tenant. You can see here, pretty fun. We're gonna hit, let's hit click Connect Tenant and see what happens. So I'm going to connect my CenterX tenant. Okay, we're going to give it the permissions it needs. see how long this takes. Not too bad. So right now it's testing the tenant. Okay, cool. So it shows here. anyway so it pretty neat uh, so it shows authorized as I was saying it says the admin consent has been authorized to a tenant cool um, let's talk about tenant permissions let me check this out so basically we can do direct assignments if we want looks like that's pretty cool so you can actually grant different rights and permissions based on different groups so I can go ahead and so and go hey IT admins as an example right okay so I can go IT admins okay so you can read you can upload set configuration set permissions cool so I figure we just might as well check it out. So pretty neat. You can do all that, all that good stuff. Um, so now that we've done that, we can check out radar. So let's scan in tune with radar and see what happens. So you can see here what we're just kind of focused on is some of the basics. So we're going to connect to Intune. Cool. So we can see radar. Uh, so we have a bunch of random apps in here. And so they also found some other apps and said those apps are not currently available for patching. Fine. So you can see here a bunch of blah blahs. So you can see apps that are allowed and apps that aren't. So what we'll do here for now is why don't we go and enable 7-zip. So we're going to create a new patch group. And you know, we're just kind of doing this as we go, so it's cool. Go any da 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 da. Default automatically upload and start new deployments. Uh, allow and solution. So we get, we'll just go kind of go with this. We are gonna save the patch group. Now of course you can also add waves so if you want to kind of split it up but we'll, we'll we'll go more into that. Okay so we have our patch group. Now we're going to go back into radar. Let's rescan. It's pretty impressive overall though how quickly it's able to do that. So, so we're going to select our patch group this time 7-zip. We're going to add one app to the patch group. So it's been added. The whole idea is that that will automatically patch. Then you also have these patch flows, which lets you create waves, publish apps, multiple tenants, and have Ropac automatically take care of deploying new versions, as it says, which is pretty cool. So we got our little patch group. Just kind of checking out things and seeing kind of what it is. So we'll just, let's just create our flow. Oh look, deployment already exists, so we don't have to do that. So this is kind of check, we're just kind of checking out how this works. But, but yeah, essentially you can come in, you can go in, you can scan all your apps. You can add it to a patch flow like that, kind of organize it. So you can, essentially you could have patch closed for say all users or for however you want to do it. But it gives you, 
uh, some nice kind of insights into like how can we keep this as clean as possible. And again, we can see all the apps that are eligible in there. Now, one other thing that we'll take a look at in this video is how to actually do our our imports. So you can see here, I'm back on set. I'm going to go on this main page. Cool thing is it shows you some recent stuff that was done. Now in here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to upload a package. So let's do this. I am somebody who loves the magic of putting everything in temp folders. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, I'll use Sophos as an example. So I'm going to grab all these files. Pretty cool. So yep, we want to create an Intune Win package. Continue. As you can see here, this has the whole thing. It's going to automatic, it's automatically pulling like the install commands, which is what you'd expect. So you're going to use the, the default a PS ADT. All fine. Uh, you can see here, not a big deal. Uh, you know, similar to Intune too, right? So it's going to ask about detection rules. And we're just going to leave a lot of this stuff kind of straightforward for now. Okay, so we're going to do all that. Because it's an MSI package, so. And then you can do advanced options. You can say who the developer is, you know. Let's call Sophos. Um, and so, like, this is all stuff that you're used to at Intune, right? So we're going to continue. Now you're about to upload and start the conversion of Sophos from installer to Intune Win. And now if I click this, quick import to Intune, it's going to say, okay, I want to upload it to my tenant. Cool. And then if you want to add assignments, you can, or what's also interesting here too, is it can actually create groups for you. Which I think is really, really cool. Um, talks about group templates here. We'll, we'll go back to that later because we're going to be, have to explore that, but we're not going to do that, but we're going to create package. You can see here as it's doing its little magic. I do real, I do really love the UI with this thing, which is pretty cool. So you can see here as we're watching and kind of exploring together the, uh, the magic. So it's analyzing. I think it's really kind of neat just to kind of watch it go and see what happens. Not to mention the, f the fact that we love how it, it can automatically import and create groups for you and things like that. But yep, so you can see here it's kind of analyzing and it's kind of doing its thing. So right now it's doing an import to Intune. And once that's done, we'll go see and see, did it actually make its way into Intune? Because it's great that it says it did. But did it. Doing some cool committings. Upload it to Intune. Huzzah! It's a quick and how much do we love this? There's a button right here. You can hit that. And it will actually take you right into Intune. How much do we love that? We absolutely love that. Because I thought I was just going to have to open another tab. So I'm really excited that they, they're they kind of thinking like an end user would. Or I should say an administrator. And so you can see here the app's been uploaded. Sophos Connect and Tune Win. If we go check out, let's go check out the properties. You can see here. It's interesting they just call, so it's called Deploy Application, which is funny. But it's fine. Who cares? So it's creating the uh, those things there. It's copying all the stuff, those detection rules, but it's just kind of fun and to see how to, how the sausage is made there. And even they, they do the logo. So, I mean, overall, they did a really nice job with that package. Uh, one thing, since we just saw it, let's, let's go and check out those, the group templates. So here are the assignment templates. And so you can see here, it's interesting. So the, the default template it's doing is it's create group for available. You know, it's going to go, okay, we're going to call it RoboPack product, product name, blah, 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 blah. That's for available required uninstall. 
which is pretty cool. Um, so like if you want to actually create things that like a, from like a, an access governance perspective, it works very similarly to that. So I thought that that was kind of worth kind of checking out because I think it's really interesting and you can even go ahead and create your own templates or remove these. Cause if we go and we go decide we're going to add a new template, it's kind of interesting. So use existing group. So say we want to create a new group. So it says here when da 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 when you you know importing a package into you can select one of the template groups and yada yada yada. So that's cool. So we set that default, we call it whatever, you know, all devices. Say this for fun. All devices required. Make package required for all devices, we hit save. So now we have this whole cool little thing. So I just wanted to figure we would kind of look at templates while we're in here. Because, I mean, that's it's obvious, right? So the, the other thing that we're going to look at one other thing as we're just kind of looking at the apps and kind of the basics of apps. And we'll go into other stuff in other videos. Um, but let's see what happens when we go ahead and we want to just add an application in here. Because, I mean, that's the interesting thing too, right? So, okay, I'm going to hit, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick FileZilla. It's pretty cool. I love this. It lets you actually pick which version that you want to deploy. So, okay, so let's see what happens. We're going to start with looking at this analyze and build. Okay, so we got our information, FileZilla, the publisher, the version, wrap package, and installation script. Cool. Yes, yeah, so we'll do that. It's pretty cool here. They also have the script templates they talk about. So, kind of script template is like, you know, okay, we're going to use, you know, this thing, logging. It's kind of neat. So it actually sets up how, where we're going to log stuff to, whether we want to remove desktop shortcuts, you know, all these different little neat things. So those are, I think, pretty cool to look at. So go back. So anyway, and so you have, we have two options here. So if we, let's go back to analyze and build, and then we're going to look at the, we'll look at the flow in a second. So, okay, so we have this, we're going to wrap it. Same thing as before, we're going to advanced options. And we'll do the featured app, in the company store, yada, yada, yada. They're going to continue. Quick import to Intune. Oh, I'm going to pick my, atten my tenant. I can, so now since I used default so it tells you what it's going to do and so going back to what we were doing we were talking about before the reason why it does that is that so even though we create this all devices one it's still if we remove the default required right and then we go back and so I think it's, like it's fun to look at so We'll leave it all the same this time, but if we hit continue here, right? We do quick import to Intune. And you can see here now it's picking up that this whole sign, the package to the following, required for all devices. But we're not actually going to create those. We're just going to hit import app. Because really what we want to see here, right, is it's now doing FileZilla. It's just kind of neat you looking at this. So install commands. Showing you the detection rules. I, I, I really love the way this is kind of overlaid in general. So we're seeing just kind of the different permutations of things. So you can see here, this kind of did its whole thing. Uh, and, and then from here, we have our Intune uploads. It says it uploaded it. Let's check it out in Intune. So it's loading right in there. I got my little FileZilla. It's impressive too how quickly it gets it actually uploaded and ready for you. But uh, but yeah, you can see here all this fun stuff. There's our Intune Win. There's all our our craziness. And so with that, we've come we've come to the end. And when we come back, we're gonna we're gonna look we're gonna dive a little bit deeper 
into some of the kind of the ins and outs of what they're doing here. Thanks. I'll see you later.